So now we're gonna talk about our binders. We got two styles of binders. We have ratchet binders, which you see here on my right, and we got snap binders, which you see here on my left. You wanna make sure these binders are working properly. You wanna make, you wanna definitely check them to make sure it winds, especially on your ratchet binder, you wanna make sure it winds in and wind out easily. You wanna make sure that your switches going back, back and forth easily, okay? And the way to make sure that this works properly and to take care of it is you have to check it. You must check these binders, even if you go to recover a truck or get a truck off the yard, you must check these binders. Here is some lubricant to take care of your binders. You can pick this up anywhere in Home Depot or Lowe's for about $10. You wanna make sure you wind these all the way out. You wanna spray the entire, you wanna spray the entire thing as you roll it out. You also, you wanna spray your guts, and this is what I call the guts, right here where you switch. So you can make sure it moves back and forth and it doesn't get seized up due to rust. You know, when you have these binders on the back of your truck and it rain, you will get some rust on it. But if you use this right here, I'm telling you, this is a very good de-ruster lubricant to use. You also can use them on your snap binders as well, because on a good snap binder, your hooks must rotate around like this okay to make adjustments on your chain all right you see that on top and the bottom you can spray you can spray right in there and make sure this rotates all the way around do a 360 degree turn so this is a good binder and also this is a good binder and the working load limit of this one is 6600 pounds and the working load limit of this one is 5400 pounds so now we're going to talk about what not to use. This is a bad binder. You don't have no other hook on it, okay? This binder is no good. You cannot use this binder at all. And on your ratchet binder, we, we talked about your, your threads being seized up. This is one that's been seized up that cannot come out, so it won't turn, okay? So you cannot use this binder. It won't go in and it won't come out, so it's totally seized up. This is a bad binder, do not use it.